I started to realize that Deep Rock Galactic was the game that truly started the arcade style extraction shooter genre of games. But my very first immediate thought or impression was this shit is exactly like just Minecraft on steroids. The arcade extraction shooter everyone forgot about, Deep Rock Galactic. How's it going everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your all-in-one extraction game news source. Let's have a chat about Deep Rock Galactic, or DRG. So the main purpose of this video is to bring the game back and do a brisk overview of gameplay mechanics for new players as well as what has freshened up the original DRG and then lastly talk about the sequel. So moving right into the brisk gameplay overview, and yes, this is going to be brisk. If you've been around for my other game overview videos, you know that I usually drone on about this. But anyways, there's four characters. There's a driller, a gunner, an engineer, and a scout. They all have their own specializations. And of course, with four characters, this game is certainly better played as a co-op game, and the more the merrier. So if you play solo, you usually get a robot on your side to go down into the mines and fight with. However, if you have two, three, or four friends to play with, this game is going to be be incredibly more fun. Like I said, the game is good solo, but it's not quite as fun as with friends. And to briefly explain what a run in this game looks like, basically you select your mission out of the multiple mission types, you get in the drop pod, and you drop down to the planet, dig down into the subsurface mine area of this planet, you complete your primary and or secondary objectives, and then you come back to the pod and you leave. Pretty simple. And then of course, whenever you go in and extract with different items, for example, there is a red mineral that I can't for the life of me remember the name of that you can use during a mission to call in ammo, for example. So each different thing has its own thing to use it for, <laughs> if that makes sense. So you come back to the space rig or the hub and you can use your currency to buy cosmetics or upgrade different things. So now I wanna talk about the freshness that has been brought from the updates. So as of recently, there have been three cosmetic packs and one supporter upgrade in the past year. There have been two whole ass board games made in the past year year and a half. They're working on releasing their second one pretty much right now. They're working on a end of 2023 roguelite game release. Now I know none of this is really involving the actual game itself, but I just want to show you how much work that they've been doing on other things as well. So for example, if you really like Deep Rock Galactic, you can buy their board games and play those if you have friends. I know I don't have friends, so I have no one to play those with. Now if you like roguelite games, this is a whole roguelite release on Steam, just like Vampire Survivors, if you've ever heard of it, that they're working on releasing at the end of this year, 2023. So if you like Deep Rock Galactic and you like roguelike games, this might be the game for you. Now, something in correlation with the actual game here, there is going to be only one more major update, unfortunately, but it, it's for good reason. So season five is supposed to come in June of 2024, and that's going to be their last major update, which is to be considered a teaser prelude to the whole new game that they've been working on, which they just announced. They are still doing patchwork intermittently for DRG. And then of course, the last bit of spice that has been brought to the game recently is the sequel, DRG or Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core, which I'll call RC from here on out. So what is DRG RC? <laughs> It's essentially a very similar game to the OG DRG, but the dwarves found a new resource called Exponite, which is exponentially more valuable than any other resource they've found, all pun intended here. And it's based on regaining control of lost dig sites and recollecting the core that has gone rogue. Now, Ghost Ship Publishing did say that it has roguelike elements or that it is going to be a roguelike, which could potentially mean that there's going to be different perks or abilities that you can earn in each run that don't stick with you along the way, which could be a really interesting take on a game like this. Now, RC is considered a standalone expansion game. It was originally going to be an expansion to the OG DRG. However, they quickly realized, holy fuck, this is a massive project and we just want to make this into a completely different game. They're shooting for a November of 2024 release, so about five months after the release of season five for OG DRG. And another thing that Ghost Ship Publishing said they wanted to do was they wanted to do this open 
open-ended development thing where basically they share a lot of their, if not every, milestone that they achieve along the way of releasing it from here on out. So for the next roughly 13 months, we can hope to see a lot of consistent updates as to what the game looks like, if there's a new delay, etc, etc, which I think is honestly really, really cool to see a game development company do something like that. I've never seen something like that before. Now, if you want to see the full two hour ghost ship publishing live stream that they did, go ahead and check the description down below. I'll have a link down there for the two hour live stream that they did. Now, they only covered Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core, I think for about 30 minutes at the hour and 40 minute mark, roughly thereabout. So that is where the majority of my information has come from. So if you're interested in something like that, go ahead and click the link down below and feel free to watch their entire live stream. Other than that, I really don't have anything else for you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a sub down below and stick around for more extraction game news. We'll talk again real soon. Peace!